Hey, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thanks for stopping by. Tonight, I've got what I hope is a redemption beer from Untitled Art. Uh, this is going to be the Oat Cream IPA version 3. Uh, if you saw my review a few weeks ago on the version 2 uh, that my friend Steven gave me, you'll know that I didn't care for it. I had about five months age on it. And uh, I think that it had severely fallen off. So this one I just picked up. This one's got a canned on date of June 8th. So, you know, we're under that two month mark at the moment. So um, seven percenter uh, New England IPA with oats, Amarillo, Sabro and Galaxy hops. So should be decent. I mean, the last one had a really promising body on it. Um, it was just lacking in hop uh, presence majorly. So we'll hope for a different uh, outcome on this one. All right. So beer looks nice. Really does. Comes in kind of a deep gold. It's got a fluffy uh, kind of off white head type bubbles. Looks nice in the glass though. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Oh yeah, it's actually quite nice. <sighs> Definitely getting some like bright orange. <sighs> it's got a little bit of like a tropical thing going on. Like a light tropical. Maybe like a little bit of like a guava or something like that. It's just very minimal though. I am getting a little bit of like a pina colada like vibe from that Sabro. Getting some pineapple in there for sure. Yeah, smells okay. Nothing too crazy, but smells nice actually. So let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Yeah, it's way better than the last one. I don't know if this one, it doesn't mention lactose. And the reason I say that is because this beer is insanely smooth. I mean, it, it's silky smooth. Those oats are really doing their job in there. Bringing a nice softness to the beer. Um, I do get a little bit of like a crackery vault. Get a little bit of like an oat type thing. It's, it's more, more so delivering um, that soft mouthfeel. Um, but you know, still getting some orange, getting a little bit of like an earthiness in there, a little bit of pineapple. It's got this nice, like almost vegetal type dankness, like a green dank thing. You do get a little bit of the pina colada. Still comes through a little coconut. Kind of mixed with that pineapple. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty nice, pretty decent. 7%, you know, it's drinking like 7%. Um, this doesn't taste like a little beer. It's not boozy, but you can tell there's a little bit of, you know, a little bit there, you know, that's kind of sticking out. Um, you know, it comes across with a little bit of sweetness in there. Um, it kind of sticks around too. It's not a very dry beer. Like it's got a nice residual sweetness that kind of sticks around. I 
um, yeah, I mean, decent stuff. You know, nothing crazy. I've had better from Untitled Art. Um, but, you know, I, it delivers. It's, um, you know, it's got a nice hop presence. Citrusy, tropical. Uh, it's got a nice mouthfeel to it. Very soft, creamy. Um, you know, the body, like I just said, is nice and creamy, but it offers a little bit more, I don't know, with that 7%, it's just giving you a little bit more sweetness than what you might want. Uh, it's a little bit more sweet than what I would usually go for. Um, but yeah, overall decent beer. Uh, so definitely something I would drink again. I just, I've had better from Untitled Art and, um, that's, I guess that's what I'm comparing it to. So take that for what it's worth. Um, like I said, good beer. Um, as far as the rating, for this one I would probably go 3 point, nah, probably right out of 4. Um, I think it's pretty good, so um, yeah, let me know if you've had this one, um, let me know what you think about it, and uh, if you like the video, leave a like and a comment, let me know what you think, and let me know what you're drinking, and if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, would definitely mean a lot. We'll see you guys in the next video, cheers!